Hey guys, this is Mike here from Ball and Bowers, and today I wanted to show you um, my new addition that I just acquired um, two days ago, and her name is Chloe, and Chloe is a um, leopard gecko. She's just a normal, and she's a beautiful, beautiful girl though, and I got her from a wonderful family um, down on the Cape, Cape Cod in Massachusetts, and um, they weren't rehoming it because, uh, you know, like it was sick or it wasn't, you know, like not cared for. It was actually very, very good health, really cared for. And um, the people we got it from, they donated a bag of 100 crickets and, and wax worms and uh, small mealworms. Just wonderful people. And I appreciate it so much. And um, so they waived any rehoming fee. And um, they rehomed... Uh, you know Chloe here with everything you see in the in the tank and um, I was pretty happy about it the only thing I added here were the fake leaves in the water dish right there and Chloe is right there and she is under her little bridge right here but that's her and I'll open the uh, cage in a minute to um, to get her out and just bear with me a second guys Alright guys, so, actually that's not Chloe, that's Chloe's boyfriend, and Chloe is right here guys, let me flip that over for you, and we'll get the light going, and there she is guys, and that's Chloe. And she's a beautiful, beautiful girl. I mean, just look at her, guys. I mean, she is just truly spectacular. And she came from a wonderful family. And they took really, really good care of her. And um, she is breeding size. And I uh, asked them if it would be okay where I'd be um, taking her in, if it would be okay to breed her. And they didn't mind. So um, well, I have a few other geckos breeding right now. And uh, we did uh, have our first egg hatch. Unfortunately, the other egg I had didn't hatch. But that's okay. At least we got one. But um, yeah, guys. So what I did here is I uh, there's Chloe, and like I said, she's just an, a really nice looking normal. And I have another normal in here, and there he is right there, and that's the male, guys. And hopefully, um, you know, he's gonna um get the job done, and they'll produce a few eggs, which would be spectacular. Get a few eggs. Hopefully, um, you know, we'll get a couple to hatch, and uh. Get a few more babies going, guys. And in the other enclosure uh, up I have over there, I have my albino girl breeding with my uh, patternless albino male. So I'm hoping for some patternless albino geckos or even just some other, some regular albinos would be cool too. And uh, the first one I produced uh, is a normal female. Uh, it's looking like a female now that it's getting a little bigger. I'll have to probably wait. But um, I, I incubated at temps for a female. I was incubating between 80 and 83. And um, the mother was an albino, so uh, the one we did produce is a het albino, guy. So um, that's really cool, and I'll show you guys that in a second. But there's Chloe, guys, right there. And um, let me just leave these two alone to go about their business. Come here, Chloe. Come here, girl. She's just a wonderful girl. She really is. So happy to get her. All right, guys. So bear with me. Let me get the uh, the cover back here, and I'll show you guys. Um, I'll show you guys the first one we produced. Get her the light up here. All right, guys. So Chloe's back in the cage with her boyfriend there, and we'll show you guys. The first leopard gecko that I've ever produced, and it's just a normal looking like a female, and it is head albino. And there it is, guys. And uh, just truly awesome that white, you know, that white on the tail and the striping, and how it goes up into yellow. The lighting's not the best right here, but man, is this a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful looking gecko. Let's see if I can get it over to some better light. Oh, yeah, guys, there you go. I mean, just truly spectacular. And I just started with um, leopard geckos not even six months ago. And I just started, um, you know, pairing them up probably about three, four months ago. And um, 
my albino girl she had a uh, she had a few eggs but one was uh, infertile right away one got mold on it and one just didn't hatch so we ended up getting one out of four but um, I read that uh, when they're still young they can have some infertile eggs so I think that's why two of them two out of the four were infertile because she the albino girl that um, did lay this uh, the egg for this baby she still is kind of a you know a young female she's got some size but I, I think that um, you know I should have waited you know a little bit but we'll see I'm gonna give her one more shot I gave her a break for uh, about four and a half weeks five weeks and um, then I paired her back up and she's been paired up now in the other enclosure over there for a um, for about a week now so we're hoping to get another two eggs out of her and then I would um, once she laid that, I know she could lay two more and probably two more every two to three weeks after that, but I'll probably just get two more out of her and then I'll um, stop breeding her for the season. But all right, guys, this is, um, I haven't named her yet because I want to make sure she's a female and she's just a little too small for me to tell right now, but she's the first one I ever produced and she is spectacular, guys. And we'll show you what the other geckos are doing over here. All right, so there is the albino patternless male. Oh, he was sleeping. There he is right there. And he is just about breeding size. They say around 40 grams is uh, good for a breeder male. And he is 38.7 the last time I weighed him last week. So right now you could say he's probably 39 grams. So I'm hoping that he'll get the job done with the um, albino female that's in there. And uh, we'll produce some couple nice albinos guys but uh yeah so that's him this is the patternless albino male and like i said just under uh, under a gram and a half um sorry he's less than a gram and a half under 40 grams guys so like i said you know he is just about there and like i said he's probably about 39 now but um all right guys well this is mike from ball and boas and geckos saying until the next time peace